Hello lads, today we have a snipe filter video for you guys. You guys seem to enjoy these because, well, you find them helpful. So, you find them helpful, I'm going to keep making them. So, if you guys do want to enjoy today's video, find it helpful, smash a like on the video, let me know that you guys want to see more of these snipe filters, and helps the videos get out to a wider audience. Now, we're going to be looking at the, invinc the new uh, Splash Zone set, which is... Yeah, quite interesting. A very interesting set. This card art needs to be changed because they're absolutely terrible. And we have some invincible cards to snipe as well. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. Alright, so this one's very, very simple. This is if you have basically no MT. You're just going to go to 3,000 on uh, the on pink diamonds. You're just going to sit back and then you're going to wait for cards to pop up. Like that one. <laughs> so, Michael Robertson, 3k. I don't think he's worth, like, a whole lot, but... Basically, pink diamonds quick sell for 3k. So anything you sell for 3k, as long as you sell it for over 3,350, you're going to be making some MT. So obviously you have to factor in tax and stuff. So any card that you buy for 3k, you know you can quick sell it for 3,000 MT. Or you can chuck it in an exchange or something, because you're probably not going to get them any cheaper. So this is literally if you have basically no MT, you have about 10k MT, you want to start sniping, you want to get used to sniping. This is the filter that I would suggest you guys look at, because, well, it's... All right, filled up, but it's not obviously it's not going to make you like a lot of MT. This is sort of like if you want to build up your MT amount just to get up to that little bit higher to snipe more valuable cards. So, let's get on to the next one. All right, we're on the we're on the Galaxy Opals. Now, you can kind of filter this how you want. Now, Galaxy Opals at the moment because of the new splash zone packs are kind of all over the place. So, yeah, we have these uh ter we have quite a lot of them here. Uh so they've been up for about 15 minutes, which is kind of kind of surprising. Um, so you see 6k, you see a lot of them for 6k. I see a Jerry West there for 6k, which is kind of interesting. Um, but if you want to filter this to show, uh, Splash Zone, I keep thinking it's Showtime, because it basically is Showtime set from last year. Um, you've seen a lot of them for 7k, they've been up for 10 minutes, so you know that's not a good price to list them for. Let's go to 7k, you're starting to see them up for a little bit more, um, more... But you're starting to see more of them. Uh, 6.8, 6.5, you're seeing quite a few of them. There's one for, <laughs> for 6k there, which is kind of insane. I don't think they're actually... Yeah, so what I would do here is I would put this down to about 5.6 or 5.7. Maybe if you... Maybe because of this video will come out later today. If the if the players have gone down even more in price, go to 5k. Because Galaxy Opals quick sell for 5k. So these at the moment are quick selling are selling for about 6.5, 6.3. As you can see, <laughs> they just, they're just getting flooded onto the market. So I'll be honest, I would probably lower this down to, to about 5k. Maybe 5.5. Or it just depends because you have to factor in tax and fact tax when you sell a car for 5k is 500 so obviously sell a car for 5.6 you're probably going to be making 40 mt which is not something you really want so i'd maybe look to snipe in the card for about 5k if you can snipe them for 5k obviously that is banging but obviously if you are looking to snipe them for 5k i take off this splash zone filter and just snipe galaxy obos for 5k because again you can quick sell them for 5k you snipe a car for 5k, you literally at no risk of losing MT, unless you somehow sell it for 5,100 MT. In which case, obviously, then you're going to lose MT based on tax. But if you sell a car for 5,000, uh, for if you buy a car for 5,000, uh, that's a Galaxy Opal, and you quick sell and you sell it for 5,600, you are making profit. So, yeah, Galaxy Opal 5k, that's probably the one I would go for. If you're at about eh, 15 to 25k, that's probably the one. I All right, so now we're on to Galaxy. Now we're on to Dark Matter filters. Now, there's one card I recommend you pick up before you do this filter, and that is Jeremy Lin. Because Jeremy Lin's already about 70k. So what I'm going to do is I'll take Chris Webber out. Again, I'm not too sure on Chris Webber's price. I'm not too sure if he'll go to a buyout like this soon. But Dartma, you're going to go to Splash Zone, Fire and Empty. As you can see, Jeremy Lin's everywhere. And what we're going to do is enable, and then you literally just sit here and wait. You probably have to put this to 500. They're just Yeah, 500. I'll probably set this to 100k as well. Um... But, yeah, this is the filter that I would use. Especially if you're looking to get ball ball and potentially make quite a bit of MT. This is the filter I would use. Just be... Just because, obviously, you could make quite a bit of MT. Or you could save yourself a lot of MT uh, if you're looking to lock in that ball ball card. Obviously, that ball ball card shouldn't exist. It's an invincible ball ball. He's played 39... Anyway. <laughs> he's played 39 games total in the NBA. And somehow he's the same... 2K think he's the same card tier as Kevin Durant, like, great of the NBA. And then you have Bobo. But, yeah, he's a great of 2K, I guess. So that's why 2K feel like he deserves to be in there, I suppose. But yeah, Dark Matter, Splash Zone, 500. I would I would pick up Jeremy Lin just to enable him out, because otherwise you're going to have this bit, this issue. 
uh, where there's loads of Jeremy Lins. So enable him out. If you have one of them, obviously just take him out of your collection. Just put him in your uh, auction house. Also, pull Shaq. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, um, just chuck him in your collection when you're done uh, sniping, and then you just go from there, to be honest. All right, now the final one. We're going to go to Dartmoor, and we're going to go to Team. We go to Bucks, and then we'll basically just search. You have Giannis. You may have to filter out Kareem, but you have Thornmaker in there. So if you just do 500 minimum buy now, you literally only have Kareem in here, so you may have to enable him out. Um, but once you've enabled Kareem out, you have so many players to potentially search for. You have Kareem, you have Giannis, you have Thon, you have a lot of different players that you can search for. So obviously you have the invincible cards that just dropped. So obviously they are the ones that you want to be sniping. But obviously with this, just if a Thon Maker pops up, you know you can buy him and just list him up for that little bit of extra profit. So that's another one that I'd maybe potentially look at. Another one I'd look at is if you go to Dharma and then you set, uh, set this to Lakers. So we've got Dharma, Lakers, then we click search. Obviously, we have Lonzo Ball. You may have to enable him out. Uh, so if we just enable... I can't really enable him out, can I? So if I just do 500, you have Lonzo, you have a Magic. So you may have to enable a few people out. But once you enable them out, you have some... You have some interesting people that you can snipe. So obviously, you have you have the Shaq. You have another... You have Dartmoor Magic, Invincible Magic. You have LeBron. You have Anthony Davis. You have the new Shaquille O'Neal that just came out. You have that Kobe out of position card. You have a lot of cards at your disposal with, with this filter. Obviously, you do have to enable uh, two or three players out. But obviously, they're not going to cost you that much, to be honest, to enable them out. So, I would definitely recommend that you do look to enabling them out. But, obviously, you have the new Shaq in the game. So, um, if I just go to Premium, Invincible, Shaquille no O'Neal. Obviously, there's a the few Shaqs up on the market right now. But obviously, so, obviously, the potential of Polymon is a little bit higher. So, you have Shaq, you have Magic, you have Kobe, just in the Invincible set of Lakers. Um, so, I would definitely look at uh, that filter, especially. And that, guys, is going to pretty much do it. So, if you guys have enjoyed the video and found it helpful, if you could smash a like on the video, it does help out the channel a ton. Just get the new people and help grow the channel. So, just think of it as a free way to support the channel. If you guys want to see more of these snipe filters, let me know down in the comments. As of course, you guys love when I try and help uh, make you guys some MT. So, if I can help you guys make some MT uh, any sort of way I can, obviously, I will look to do that. But yeah, guys, if you guys want to see more of these snipe filters in the future, hit that subscribe button, because obviously you'll get notified when I drop a new snipe filter or a new video. I see you guys later. I hope you guys take care. I see you guys later. Take care. Love you all. Please give a massive shout out to the channel members Mario, Michael, Wade, Lewis, Lindsay Nell, Kev, Ant, Hans, Wallow, Casey, Magic Magpie, Michael, Kia, and Jack. Thank you guys so much for all your support.